Hello YouTube, today I'm at Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. This color is very unique. This is the Chief Blue color. It is a very light blue. Um, it's kind of close to the Hydro Blue if you're familiar with that. But this one is pretty loaded. Full LED headlights, halogen fog lights as well as your LED daytime running lights. Red accents with the Rubicon, as well as your grayed out Jeep grill. There are little Jeep Easter eggs pretty much everywhere on this vehicle. This metal bumper does have removable portions, making fitting a bigger wheel and tire setup very easy. This guy also has the front facing trail cam. Coming around to the side, there's your Rubicon badge, as well as your gray and red Jeep Wrangler Unlimited badging. Coming down to the wheel and tire, it looks like we have a BF Goodrich All-Terrain KO2. And the tire size looks like it is a 285-70-17. I think that translates to roughly a 32 or a 33 inch tall tire. With the Rubicon, you do get rock sliders black mirror caps, color matched hard top roof. This vehicle does have the passive entry system, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle on either the driver or passenger door. Again, very nice looking wheels. If you look closely too, there's another Jeep Easter egg right there. Full LED tail lights with blind spot monitor right there full-size spare and this spare tire holder actually is adjustable so I believe you can fit up to a 35 inch tall tire on here while retaining your factory backup camera location red tow recovery hook cargo access handle metal fuel fill port right there overall this has got to be one of the prettiest colors I've seen for a Jeep. This thing definitely pops. Shouldn't say pretty. This is a more masculine, masculine off-roader, but very, very cool color. Um, let's take a closer look at the inside and warm up a bit because it's like 10 degrees out today. All right, so starting off over here on the left-hand side, we have your lock and unlock buttons. Above that, we have all the mirror control buttons. Right over here, we have the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle. This little dial is the dimmer switch for the interior dome map lights. And then this is the dimmer switch for your gauge cluster lights. If you take a look, this is the Rubicon interior, which does have the red accents. Taking a look at the instrument cluster, we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, and a LCD screen in the middle. Coming back to the steering wheel, it is leather wrapped with mild bolsters at 10 and 2. This steering wheel is heated. This control pad right here actually controls the center LCD display. Tons of cool features you can monitor from the display itself. To the right of that we have your hands-free call buttons. Over on this side we have all of your cruise control buttons. Just like on almost every single FCA vehicle, you have a seek or scan rocker on the back of the left side of the steering wheel and a volume rocker on the back of the right side of the steering wheel. Up top, we have a shallow storage compartment. Coming down here, we have a very nice LCD touchscreen display. Very responsive. Uh, this does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. It also has the uh, trail apps, or the off-road pages, which is similar to Dodge's performance pages for their SRT RT lineup of vehicles. Uh, this will actually give you all of your gauges, as well as um, the off-road uh, items you should be monitoring while you're off-road. Push button start's gonna be right here. All of the physical controls for the HVAC are gonna be right underneath the touchscreen. Again, your heated driver and passenger seat buttons are right here, and then your heated steering wheel button is gonna be right there. Underneath that, you have your mute button, your automatic start-stop-off, it is on by default. 
traction control off. And then right here we have your hill descent control and then your screen off button. So if you're driving at night and there's still too much glare from the screen, turn it off, push the button and it comes back on. Sorry, there does seem to be a good amount of washout from the, the light, but under that we have a 12 volt outlet, all of the window controls for the vehicle, media hub right over here with an auxiliary jack, a USB-C and a USB port. Under that we have your front and rear uh, locking differential button, and then we have your rear only. In the middle we have your off-road plus mode, and then your sway bar disconnect mode. To the right of that we have four auxiliary upfitter switches, manual transfer case selection right here, here's your gear selector with manual plus and minus, again another Jeep logo, they're pretty much everywhere. Handbrake or emergency brake is going to be right here, two cup holders and a perfect little cutout for the key. Coming back to the armrest, again you're going to have leather wrapped armrest with the red Rubicon stitching. Open it up, giving us access to a shallow storage compartment. Open up the second portion, giving us access to a deeper storage compartment with a USB outlet. Here's a shot of the leather seats in this vehicle. Rubicon is stitched into them. Grab handle for off-roading. Right here we've got your glove box. Coming up top, we've got a LED lit vanity for passenger, as well as driver. And on the driver's side vanity, you do have a three door universal garage remote. And then above the rear view mirror, we have your assist and SOS buttons. And then we have an auto dimming rear view mirror. So overall, very, very nice interior, very soft leather uh, seats and steering wheel. I love this interior. I love all the features that you get with the Rubicon. Uh, with that being said, let's take a look at the back seats and see uh, how much legroom we have. So getting in and out of this vehicle is actually relatively easy with the grab handles right here. Uh, this one does come with all weather floor mats from the factory, which is pretty cool. Uh, on the back of the driver's seat, you do get this Molly webbing as well as this elastic uh, storage pouch on both driver and passenger side. With the driver's seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have a solid inch or two before my knees hit the front seat. Um, I am 5'11", for reference. Right here we have two HVAC vents for the rear passengers. Their window controls are right below. Below that, you have your USB media hub, two USB-Cs, two USB ports, and then under that you have a 115 volt uh, 150 watt power outlet with little storage trays underneath that. Up top you do have your speaker grills and your LED dome map lights for the rear passengers. This center seat does double as a uh, armrest slash cup holder which is pretty cool and a little cutout to stand a smartphone upright. Overall, I could definitely uh, see myself sitting back here off-roading. Uh, I don't have a ton of leg room back here, but again, these seats are very soft and comfortable. And you do have enough grab handles to hold on. Let's take a look at the cargo area. So to gain access to the cargo area, you're gonna pull on this handle. This door is gonna swing outward. And then you're just gonna simply pull up on the glass, giving us access to the cargo area. These seats do fold down, giving us access to even more cargo space. As you can see, we do have an Alpine Premium Audio Group in this vehicle with the subwoofer being right there. And then over on the driver's side, you have a 12 volt outlet. Underneath here, we have a little storage compartment, as well as all of the um, nuts and bolt location if you're gonna take the uh, doors off this vehicle. Before I close this, I want to show you, you do have the JL two-door and four-door information spec sheet right here in terms of the wheelbase and the water fording capabilities. Auburn Hills, developed, built in Toledo, Ohio. Uh, some of the vehicles actually have the area code of Toledo, Ohio on them, which is another little Easter egg. Now to uh, close everything up, 
You're gonna reverse the process, hold down the glass window, push this in, and it should lock into place. Again, like I said previously, this does adjust and this moves up to fit up to a 35 inch tall tire on the spare tire rack. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's the window sticker for this vehicle. Again, it's a 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon 4x4 with a base price of $42,375. The exterior color is Chief Clear Coat. This has a 3.6 liter V6 and an eight speed automatic transmission. Standard equipment is going to be right here. Optional equipment is gonna start over here and transition onto the next page. The total vehicle price is $61,150. All of your fuel economy rating is going to be right up here. This vehicle is rated at 19 miles per gallon city, 24 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 21 miles per gallon. I'd like to give Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle specifically or any of the 2021 Jeep lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. In the comment section below, tell me what your favorite feature of this vehicle is and why. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.